All right, in this video, I'm going to cover uh, example number nine from our uh, trapezoid and isosceles trapezoid notes. Uh, so we'll have to recall our properties of an isosceles trapezoid for this one. Okay, we've got that MNOP is an isosceles trapezoid, and we're given that MP is 16x minus 13. So let's go ahead and mark that on our picture. 16x minus 13. And we have that NO is 9x plus 8. So this side here is 9x plus 8. And then we have PN is 5y plus 19. So that's going to be this diagonal here. So that's 5y plus 19. And then MO, our other diagonal, is going to be 12y minus 37. All right, so if we recall properties of an isosceles trapezoid, these legs are going to be congruent, and these diagonals are also going to be congruent. So let's go ahead and set up a couple equations and solve them. We just need to solve for x and y. So let's set the legs equal to each other. 16x minus 13 is equal to 9x plus 8. And I'm going to add 13 to both sides. So I get 16x is equal to 9x plus 21. Then I'll subtract 9x from both sides. So I get 7x is equal to 21. Divide by 7, and I get that x is equal to 3. All right, let's go through the same process with the diagonals because since it's an isosceles trapezoid, I also know the diagonals are congruent. So I have 12y minus 37 is equal to 5y plus 19. I'm going to add 37 to both sides. So 5y or 12y is equal to 5y plus... 56, and then I'll subtract 5y from both sides. So I get that 7y is equal to 56, and y is equal to 8. All right, so again, I always go back and make sure I answered the question. It said solve for x and y, which I did. So we're all set. If you have any questions, make sure you ask, and we'll see you in the next video.